morning everybody happy thanksgiving so today is thanksgiving and i'm about to start on a couple sides we had a breakfast casserole which i think the recipe linked to down below it was really good and now i'm about to do work on some sides i'm going to do my green bean casserole that i usually do this crock pot stuffing is so good i know some people call it dressing i just don't i don't know i've never called it dressing i've always called it stuffing this is fire I've been Thanksgiving a little bit different this year just since it's us. Um, I kind of do regret not doing a turkey now just because I, I love the process of doing a turkey and Davis's deep fried turkey is amazing. We did it last year, but with it just being us four, we figure we would do the little home chef pickup. So we'll see how good that is. the best vlogging setup. Like you can set your camera at the perfect spot. I've been doing Turo instead of renting cars from like Hertz and stuff. First of all, it's way easier. You like step off the plane, the car's ready for you or they literally drop it off at your feet. And then um, it's it's about the same price or less. I actually compared yeah. the prices and it's about the same or less. Like, super easy. I rented Jeeps for this trip and our big sky trip because we need a Jeep fix in. I miss Carmen, so. We're gonna get rid of the BMW and get a Jeep. We landed in Jackson Hole. It's snowing, snow. 12 it's, inches over the next 24 hours. It's, I love snow. I have no issues with snow. I'm gonna go try to find food now, and then we will catch up and explore a little bit. We got dinner planned for tonight. Yeah. But other than that, I think today is just gonna be hopping on our phones and seeing what we can go look at. Yep. The first food. Mary Piglets. Tex Mex. It is Mary Piglets. Mary Pig. I cannot drink this spicy margarita without making the ugliest face in the world. It's probably the first spicy margarita you've had in a while. That's me. It's actually <laughs> spicy. It's actually. It's so hard to get a good spicy margarita. It's just, it's got like a jalapeno infused flavor. Well, yeah, this one does. In the tequila, so I feel like it makes it even more intense. Okay, the meal is finished, and first stop in town here in Jackson Hole is the Mary Piglet's Bar. And I think it definitely gets a thumbs up slash recommendation from us. That was delicious. That was so good. So, if you're ever in the area, 
give these guys a check out. So Davis is busted. <laughs> I have fallen twice already after literally telling Casey that the snow wasn't even slippery snow. I said, my Uggs are not gonna do well. They're gonna slip. He said, no, they're not. Cause I'm wearing Uggs too. So I thought I knew what I was talking about. Clearly. And we're in. This is awesome. Oh, laundry? So cute. Tell me this isn't such a good room. <laughs> We're about to go get all of our stuff, but how cute. So you have a fireplace on this side, on the other side. It's kind of flurrying outside. You can probably see, maybe. It's supposed to get some snow tonight. You can't see because of the screen. That's the master, and then we turned on the lights in here so you probably see it better. You got a big old kitchen. This adorable dining. So and we got this, which makes me believe there is a parking garage. Right, we just gotta find it. <laughs> and then- Board games, are we gonna play board games? Zero stars. Like I said, it's kind of flurrying outside, so hopefully we'll get a good bit of snow tonight. And I think, I think what we're gonna do is go grocery shopping. So we'll see if we can find some good stuff when we're out. This little place is adorable. Very cozy, very homey. I like that. All right, snow is coming down. We're about to go grab some groceries at the cute Albertson. You can't even see it. We'll see if we can show it in a second. And all that snow. So cute. Do it. Should be enough, right? There we go. I thought they just like, I thought you kept them in there, in the pan. And then they just pop, pop, pop. They did. But once they pop, you stir that to keep the seeds falling down to the bottom. Oh, God. Master pop corn popper. A kernelist? <laughs> Alright, the results are in. It took no time. It took about the time to get a pop popcorn bag. Yeah. If we pour that in a bowl and just put some salt on it. Salt or no salt? Uh, no salt. You're crazy. Mm. Wow. Sounds amazing. Popcorn. There's so much popcorn. I barely poured any in here. They call it Mormon Row? Yeah, this whole area is Mormon Row. Old Mormon Used uh, to be homestead. a lively community, is what the sign said. Vibrant. 
a vibrant, my bad, vibrant. And you have like little barns like this. There's a little area over there too. The skies are coming blue over there. You can kind of see a little bit of the mountains popping through. But it's so cute. This little barn's so cute. And there's more down there. I bet we'll just drive down there and look and see. But now, it was once vibrant, but now very, 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 very quiet. All right, we ate, Where do, what was that burger place called? Liberty Burger. We ate at Liberty Burger. It was pretty good. My lipstick is still on, and that was a greasy burger, so that attests to the lipstick. It's good, but now we're at the Bunnery Bakery. I think Davis just wants a coffee, and I wouldn't mind a baked item if they have something good, and a coffee, and a water. I would like all the beverages. So we'll see. This place looks really cute, though. All the Christmas vibes. Please use red door. Red door. Wait, what time is it? Okay. We did end up doing that. <laughs> that was short lived. That was short lived. I was vlogging too quick because they're closed uh, already. So. There's icicles. Yeah, I know they're so. I don't like standing under. I, if there's one thing that Fort Drum made me nervous about is standing under large icicles. So. They were like six, seven feet long at Fort Drum. They're awful. <laughs> we're just gonna explore a little bit. All right, here's the arch with the antlers. It's super cute. We just met somebody here, took their photos where they said that in the summer it was slammed here. Yeah, I think getting a photo with no one in the background is... It's very pristine. Exciting day. Hopefully we vlog the whole time. But we are heading out to grab some breakfast and then we are going snowmobiling. Yeah, but a lot of people have been messaging Casey and saying that this is where we should go for breakfast. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check it out, see if it's good. All right, let's go. We stay wearing the most appropriate shoes. First time we've seen the blue sky. Blue, oh yeah. You can't really tell it's blue on camera. We're going to try this again. It's going to be that close for a private event. <laughs> the Bunnery Bakery and Restaurant. They have good stuff, so we got to try at least one bake item. Let, wait for a thing. See, this line out here just shows you how much. Whoa, look at the icicles, though. All right, I got the oatmeal, the biscuits and gravy, sausage and eggs, in case you got hey. the kids' butter. <laughs> All right guys, Davis is currently taking pictures of some elk and I am gonna show you what we got. Um, we kind of just went downtown a little bit. I tried to vlog some, but everything was, didn't open until 10. There wasn't really much to show. So um, I just kind of, you know, shopped and did what I did. So I got a couple things for the, all of this is for the kids. Well, one thing is for us, I have an ornament in here because we always usually get ornaments wherever we go. And this one's cute. Also, before you buy any touristy like tees and sweatshirts, be sure you check out all the places because I've seen, like I got stressed thinking like I wouldn't find one and so at the first couple shops I got a few sweatshirts and then as I've been going in other shops, there's a lot of other cute ones. So just 
keep exploring. But um, this is the little ornament. Figured it was fitting because it was cold, has the elk. Just, it's perfect. So it kind of just describes our trip and it's like this wood one so it's not gonna break easily. I got this book called Goodnight Cowboys. I thought Mason would love this book. Madison will love it too because it has like a bunch of animals in it. I grabbed Mason some buffalo PJs. He's going to absolutely love these. Um, he's a buffalo kid. He loves seeing buffalo. So I thought that was adorable. And then for Maddie Cake, I got her these slippers that are so cute. They're just like little shoes. Would you say this is, this looks like a llama. I don't know. But they're really warm. They have the rubber soles. It's set for 12 to 18 months, but her her feet ain't that big. So she'll probably be able to wear these for a long time. And they have the Velcro side. And they're like fully lined. So, so that's all we got. We're headed to the snow snowmobile place. And then we kind of have a packed day. We're gonna do this. And then um, look at how pretty they are. Looky, looky, looky. They're much closer than the camera makes them appear. But they're so pretty and they look majestic out there. What I was saying is we're going to do this snowmobile and then we have dinner at the Four Seasons. It's our last full day. And then we're gonna try to just go see Million Dollar Cowboy. We tried to look at it last night and like go there because it was our first day open for, cause they're, they have different- For the week. <laughs> for the week, cause they have different hours for like this season. And they were open, but they were closed for a private event. So we're hoping tonight's the night. If not, then it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> but we're headed out there now. We have like an hour drive. <laughs> Look at how cute. Buffalo Valley Ranch. Let's see what we got here. Very nice, very nice. I guess I can take this off. How you feeling? <laughs> we are ready for a snowmobile adventure. Yeah. You can go fast. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, I got my snowmobile here. Casey. All right, I imagine we're not gonna be able to get too much footage while we're on the snowmobiles, but we're about to get started. Casey, you ready? Very excited. That's Casey's sled right there. Mine right here. And then we have the tour guide in front of us. We're out here in the Bridger Teton National Forest, I believe, on the Continental Divide. All right, so we took a quick pause for a second on the trail. I got Casey behind me, dancing it up. How do you like it? Yeah, this is fun. It's heavy though. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. Way heavier than the jet ski. Oh, for sure, yeah. You actually have to like... The vlog's making it harder though. Yeah. And I have, I have to stand up after that because I can't see. Yeah. All right, we made another stop out here. All the mountains are right there, but unfortunately we can't see it today because of the weather. There's Casey. Yep, she's pointing at that spot right there because I just fell over powder got a little too deep so <laughs> my whole snowmobile flipped on its side and they had to pull me out but we're good Casey's having a blast always dancing all right we're taking another break our spot right now actually has some blue skies so we're getting some pretty views we're hoping coming up here that we can see the Tetons um, but we will see Casey you having fun we're gonna buy some snowmobiles? One day. Oh yeah. We switched, so now Casey's in front of me and I'm in the back. Wow. They found it? So we actually stopped because a guy tipped over in the powder and I think his iPhone fell out of his pocket, so they just found it. That's the second phone I found out here. Nice. Last stop, I think, for the day. This has been so fun. <laughs> And I'm glad the weather cleared up because now we get to see a little bit out into the distance. It was snowing pretty hard the first half of the ride. Yeah. Um, but now it's just really calm and sunny. Deep snow though. Yeah, it is. Very, very deep. I know, I didn't realize how much it does. Well, we had a great time. It was a blast. 10 out of 10. I recommend. Yeah. Part 6 is Ranch. Yeah, I can leave there. Uh, Maybe website link or something down below. Five. You know what to talk about? Okay. Like. 
bubbles are just aesthetically pleasing. It's the fire. We're at the airport getting ready to leave and the day that we leave, the mountains show up. They show out. They're basically telling us that we need to stay a little bit longer is what they're doing. Um, but you can kind of see them here. They're so pretty, but yeah, we haven't been able to see them this whole time till today. That's okay. It's beautiful. Definitely a snowy winter wonderland. So beautiful. But now we're going to grab all of our stuff and head out. Grab. Adios.